But Pat Patterson, boy, they are lined up in front of you. What do you think, sir? Well, I think when you put $100,000 on the line and you get down to 10 to go at any one of these NASCAR races, it's what I like to call uh, will they lose their mind time. And we're going to see who is uh, smart and who is not on this restart. But how about Ryan Sieg up here on the front row with Sam Mayer. Then it's Riley Herbst and Brandon Jones. Here goes the pace car. Let's find it all out right now. Into the Geico, zone, Geico restart zone for perhaps the final time with 11 laps to go. Green flag is out. Ryan C gets a push from Riley Herbst, but Sam Mayer sticks right on his passenger door in turn one. Well, what have we got in turn number one? Ryan C running the white line at the bottom of the racetrack. Half car length advantage over Sam Mayer. Now Sam has to dispense with Riley Herbst. He wants it second position. Right. It looks like the uh, three wide there back for the fourth position just momentarily. But Ryan Sieg has stretched out that lead by a good ten car lengths off turn four. Second place side by side. That allows Ryan Sieg to stretch it. That side by side battle. Riley Herbst to the inside. Door to door with Sam Mayer. Mayer being pushed on his teammate Allgaier. The frustration has to be incredible for Justin Allgaier sitting behind Sam Mayer and Riley Herbst running side by side while Ryan Sieg builds a fifteen car length lead. Second, third, fourth, and fifth are all watching the leader fade away as we had one car bounce off the wall. No caution down the back stretch. Here's Ryan Sieg up to the top. Riley Herbst almost goes for a spin. Hangs on to it. He's going to lose a number of spots, though, flashing by. A.J. Allmendinger, Allgaier, fourth, Custer. And now Riley Herbst makes contact with Brandon Jones. But he'll continue. So will Jones. Big tire mark. A lot of smoke coming from Riley Herbst's car. That could prove to be problematic for him. It is now Sam Mayer trying to chase down Ryan Sieg. And Ryan Sieg has got a big lead here, folks. A big lead as he watches in the mirror. It's Sam Mayer. A good 25 car length back. Then the battle between A.J. Allmendinger and Justin Allgaier. Last time by 1.2 seconds for Ryan Sieg. This time by still 1.2 seconds. He needs him to stay clean behind him. I don't know if Ryan Sieg's a praying man, but right now he better say please God, no cautions. I've got a 15 car length lead. Mayer's advantage over third running all guy is about 10 car lengths. Wow, what a race for Ryan Sieg. He has got the clean air on the nose of that car and he is getting it done off of turn number four. As he works his way to the line, just seven laps to go. Ryan Sieg trying to win for the first time as they work out of turn four. Again, a lot of ramming and jamming in the back, but Sieg is the leader back in one. Night raced in Atlanta just a few years ago. He appeared to have a potential race winning car leading late. Can he hang on this time and finally get Yep, have that first checkered flag. Well, right now, it is Sam Mayer who is bearing down as hard as he can down the back stretch. Call in about uh, 20 car links, and I'm being generous. If he's that far behind the leader, Justin Allgaier trying to close down on his teammate. Riley Herbst had to come down to pit road. Six laps to go this time by Ryan Sieg right now. His advantage over Sam Mayer, 1.1 seconds. Every one of these guys saw checkered flags before got it getting this high in their racing careers. 300 and some races without a win in the Xfinity Series for Ryan Sieg as he continues to maintain his advantage, not making any mistakes. Mark t- talked about it earlier. This is a hard-charging car that has been solid all day long. Ryan Sieg leads once again off of turn number four. Five laps to go. The gap was 1.1 seconds the last time by. Let's check it out. As leaders head back to one, it is now still about 1.1. A quiet young man is Ryan Sieg. He's never won to brag. He just gets the job done, goes in, and this is his full-time job. Leading this race. His ma- ma- margin is stable over second running Mayer. Watching Justin Allgaier now as he tries to close down on the second place. Sam Mayer up front. It's Ryan Sieg. And again, still about 15 car lengths separate the first three. Sam Mayer made up a bunch of ground on race leading driver Ryan Sieg, but Sam Mayer is being chased by a teammate and fellow dash for cash contender Justin Allgaier. Turn number one. Ryan Sieg runs the middle lane. A lane higher is, is Sam Mayer. He's all kinds of loose, trying to get off the corner. He really wants to catch the race leader. Ryan C cannot afford to miss one mark in any one of these remaining laps because those back two, uh, second and third, are closing in on him. Here's Sieg once again all four. Visibly, Sam Mayer, Justin Allgaier catching the Ryan Sieg machine at the strike. Three laps to go. Let's keep an eye. It was Ryan Sieg that ran a perfect line through one and two. He may need to be just a little more aggressive. Again, Sam Mayer right up at the top of the racetrack, all the way to the bottom goes 
Justin Allgaier. The gap still 10, ten car lengths for Sieg. Brian Sieg now just underneath uh, the big Hoss television screen here as he heads to turn three. He'll stay right in the middle of the racetrack. Sam Mayer goes to the bottom of the racetrack. That's where you'll find Justin Allgaier. The laps are winding down. Two laps to go. Sam Mayer making up a bunch of ground. It's now car lengths, about five car lengths off the back bumper of Ryan Sieg into one. Five car lengths, three miles. The distance that still needs to be negotiated by Ryan Sieg. The gap narrows even more. Just three car lengths off turn two. We might have had a three wide finish in Atlanta. I don't know if we'll get it again today, but I'm telling you right now, it's getting closer and closer. Sam Mayer is closing in on the leader. Call it three car lengths now. Justin Allgaier, good 15 back. Sam Mayer digging hard on the white line, made up more ground. They crossed the stripe. White flag is out. One lap to go for Ryan Sieg. Dig deep, Ryan Sieg. This is your time, buddy. Into turn number one, into the banking. He moves down a lane. Mayer moves up a lane. One car like the separation. Here he is, the leader down the back stretch. Sam Mayer's going to challenge, go to the inside. Here comes the one car to the bottom of the racetrack. Sieg tries to block him as best he can. Can't make the move. He'll go right in his tire track. Sieg now with another last-ditch effort to win the race. Sam Mayer goes high. Ryan Sieg to his inside. Door to door. They're banging fenders coming to the start-finish line. Who is it at the line? It is exactly nose-to-nose. Sam Mayer goes to the top. He will win the Andy's Frozen Custard 300 here at Texas Motor Speedway and gets into the outside retaining wall after checking the checkered flag. The difference, two thousandths of a second, nearly a photo finish by inches. Ryan Sieg loses to Sam Mayer. Wow, that is another one of the closest finishes. The finish is under review from NASCAR right now. Looking at the TV, based on timing and scoring, it looks like just barely by an inch or two, literally we're not exaggerating, Sam Mayer, the splitter of his car, right in front of Ryan Sieg. You could not stick two fingers in the difference of that. My, oh my, oh my, Ryan Sieg is going to replay those last two laps again and again and again. Might have got a little too careful or he might have used up too much tires while he had the lead. And again, NASCAR continuing to look at it just to make sure it was that close. It was inches. And if you're wondering about the review, NASCAR series director for the Xfinity series, Wayne Auten, the scoring folks are all actually looking at the replay of this. Several different angles with high speed cameras as well. The replay that we saw as now we're watching another replay of this here. Sam Mayer dives to the inside of Ryan Sieg going down the back straightaway. Takes the lead. Ryan Sieg not giving up anything. He actually made the crossover move. Drove to the inside of Sam Mayer. That's the way they came off of turn number four. Then they started banging fenders. Ryan Sieg gets a little bit loose. Hits the fender of Sam Mayer. They come to the start finish line literally nose to nose. Sam Mayer is actually now at the start finish line celebrating and it looks like he is your race winner of the Andy's Frozen Custard 300. So Ryan Sieg made a mistake up there in turn two. Sam Mayer got the lead. And then when they came out of turn four, Ryan Sieg initiated the contact. I thought if he had given him one more bump, might have slowed him down, given him the inch he needed. But Sam Mayer, what can you say? I mean, he just would not quit. And he comes away with the victory this afternoon.